Welcome to this year's commencement of our series on Faith Alive. I'd like to start by thanking all those who contributed to our series last year. They made a great contribution of which we are very proud and I'm sure most of you, our followers, our friends and collaborators and fellow Jesuits, you benefited something from that. So this year we start off with some few questions that came from the youth. The youth are becoming very, very conscious of themselves and their place in the church. The question that I would like to address briefly concerns a renewed and personal encounter with Christ. So the question was, or is, where can one encounter Christ? How can prayer be a daily encounter with Christ? What's the place of the Word of God in this encounter? Now to address this issue, this question, I thought of drawing our attention to two scriptures. The first one would be Matthew chapter 25. In Matthew chapter 25, the Lord speaks to us about encountering Him in the poor, who are hungry, who are naked, who are sick, or in prison. People who need our attention. And it's through them that we encounter Him. How? By expressing love to those people. Love reigns supreme in the Christian faith. There is no stronger pillar than love in the Christian faith. And we will be judged by the law of love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your entire being. And love your neighbor just as you love yourself. So, in the persons of the poor, not that poverty is good or that destitute are something to maintain in our streets. No, street kids are not a delight to have. Or any poor people, beggars, are not a delight to have. But as long as we have them, the Lord invites us to respond to them with love. Governments have to do their part. Corporate society, society has to do its part. The Christian world has to do its part in responding to that demand of love. By it, we will be judged by the Lord. So that's the first scripture passage which we should think of with regards to encountering Christ. And the other one is 1 Corinthians, the entirety of chapter 13, which is, let's put it this way, a celebration of love, the ways in which love manifests itself. Love is kind, love is patient, love is gentle, love is enduring, doesn't gloat on or enjoy other people's failures and sins. You can read it for yourselves. It's a beautiful chapter that celebrates love. But then, within this matter of love, that's where we encounter Christ, by addressing the needs of other people, by encountering Him as He is hidden, or shall we say, in His hidden state, in other people who need our love, we need our attention. But the principal way of encountering Christ for us as Christians and Catholics particularly is through the liturgy. It would be good for us to have a look at the document Sacrosanctum Concilium. But the most fundamental way by which we can encounter Christ for us as Christians and particularly as Catholics is through the liturgy. What is the liturgy? The liturgy is considered as an exercise of the priestly office of Jesus Christ. And in the liturgy, the sanctification of the human person is signified by signs perceptible to the senses. And as we celebrate the liturgy, God is glorified. And in the liturgy, of course, we do have the Word of God that guides all of liturgy. So, to accomplish so great of a work of redeeming us. Christ is always present in his church, down the generations, especially in the church's liturgical celebrations. He is present in the sacrifice of the Mass, not only in the person of his minister, 
the same now offering through the minister of priests who formerly offered himself on the cross, but especially under the Eucharistic species. By his power, he is present in the sacraments so that when a person baptizes, it is really Christ himself who baptizes. He is present in his word since it is he himself who speaks when the Holy Scriptures are read in the church. He is present, lastly, when the church prays and sings, for he promised, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So those, in short, are the ways to encounter Christ. The principal way being the liturgy. And outside of the liturgy, then, we go and express our encounter of Christ in the mystical celebration of his love for us, by reaching out to the poor, as I alluded to earlier. God bless you.